Hi everyone, I am Stephen Kehano. I'm Nina Kimberly and I'm Sean. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about random topics here in our little trash bin. Yeah, so but just before we start, we are the Millennials. So with that title or that tagline, we're going to talk about random things that millennials experience so but usually millennials yeah experience. usually but not all millennials since we're not generalizing here so who's gonna so, have the first pick i'll be the one so before stephen opens the question each one of us would state their opinion on this said question okay so what's the first question okay so the question is okay sitting is is it good or bad? Cheating, is it good or bad? So, let's... Answer that. That's... <laughs> me? Yeah, yes, you. Sure. <laughs> okay, so for me personally, <laughs> cheating can be good and bad. Oh. Because I believe that cheating can promote collaboration oh. within the students. But it's bad because it's cheating. And that's bad in nature. But if you don't get caught, that's actually good because it can boost your ninja skills oh. and collaboration with different students sure. and your styles of cheating. So yeah. it can be very good and bad, but don't do it. So, so again, for me, just like Sean, cheating can either be good or bad as long as you don't get caught. No filmings, no written things, just cheat. But don't do that. That's bad. How about you, Stephen? Um, I really don't know, but I really disagree to the both of you. So oh. First and foremost, no. cheating is a negative word. So basically, cheating is bad and it's not good. That's it. Yeah, it's cheating bad. is bad. And you should not try it. You know, guys, you should not try this one. You should not. You should cheating. Not do cheat. It's bad. Yes, guys, a disclaimer. <laughs> Trust me. I. I, I already. I, 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 you know. <laughs> okay, guys, a disclaimer. Anything stated in this video is not a reflection or does not reflect the institution we're in, our teachers, uh, and our religion. So, this is just purely opinion. So, Sean, okay. have your pick. My turn. Yay. So, my question is Do you agree on friends before lovers? So, I believe that. You should be friends because being lovers directly, you don't have that emotional commitment. You don't know each other. Like if you're friends for years, that can build a better relationship, a stronger one, rather than a relationship that you just met in a few months in one semester, not like other people. So I believe you should be friends before lovers. Yes, I agree on that as well. Being friends before lovers um, has this bond that would actually make you friends again if ever you two break up after being lovers because when you start as friends we all know that you would know the person you're dating if you're gonna be lovers after being friends so you should know the person first before falling in love with the person how about you so again i disagree i really hate about the thought that be that you should be friends first and then relationship afterwards why because when when <laughs> when you are when you are someone that is um, close mm -hmm. to someone and then afterwards you're having mutual, a mutual relationship or a relationship so afterwards when you will be when you will be you know um, when the time comes that you will be under breaking up so you will you will just um, you you will lose two persons, your your friend and your lover. So I really hate about the thought that that friend, that friendship, or that you should be friends first. So that's my thought. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's fine, Stephen. <laughs> so it's my turn to pick. So, so my question is. Who will be that classmate you want to have a date night with? Oh no. <laughs> mm. 
a classmate. So, a classmate so it doesn't say any male or female, so probably... Wait, 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 wait. Before you say it, let's just say that it would be a male. Hey, that's unfair. Is that on the question? No, no, no. No, you should talk about... Um, like your opposite gender. A male classmate, yeah. <clears throat> so, so, male classmate. <laughs> Probably David. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know, I, I know, I know, right? No, it David is not your classmate. Yeah. Yes. So you got it. A Mendel so. student, second semester. <laughs> Why don't you date Sean? <laughs> no, I think Em's gonna kill me if I ever okay. I'll date him. So. No, no to Sean. How about I'll date Melzar? Melzar oh, is a so cute guy. He's fun to be with. Okay. He is super cute. Okay. And I wanna <laughs> squeeze his cheek, so probably that would be Melzar. How about you, Stephen? Opposite gender. Oh so. no! Same. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it should be the I same guess, uh, gender. Discrimination here, you know. <laughs> Um if probably if probably it would be a female, I would like to date um uh, no, I would like to date to date Abby because she's not a picky eater, so she so she she eat what I I will give to her, so okay. she eat everything. So I would date Abby, and if it would be going to be a male, um, it would be who Sean because he's rich. <laughs> he's gonna pay for yes. the food. He'll be going to pay my food. So yeah, that's. It's going to be Addy and Sean. So how about you, Sean? So how about me? I would pick the next question no. because... No! no. You yes. should answer the question. Yes. I would actually die if I answered this question. Really? And everyone would know that. So sure. let's pick the next question. Okay. So the next question would be love, distraction, or inspiration. So for me, love could be a distraction and an inspiration because Sometimes love would take up your time, going on dates, focusing on the other partner of yours instead of making your projects and assignments. But I'm not saying it get, it is totally bad because it would also lead you to inspire to have good grades, have higher grades, not failing grades, so really? <laughs> and be a STEM student. Oh. <laughs> so how about you, Ninia? So. Sometimes it can be a distraction, especially when you have a lot of things to do. But it can also be your inspiration since they'll be there to help you do your things. How about you? Um, basically, it depends on the person if she or he is so very good at handling a relationship. Love can be somewhat inspiring. Why? Because they're totally there will be someone who will push you not from the negative ones but you know that uh, something that will inspire you to wake up in the morning do your assignments do your projects and good point yeah that's it like yes. so for me you know, love is an inspiration and even though i don't have one. Really? <laughs> yes. I really don't have one. So to add more, it could also be inspiration, especially when he yeah. or she asks you to study well to stay on the strand you're in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a good point. Oh. I really. So, <laughs> so the next question. Mm. Oh no, I'm gonna pick another one. <laughs> That's cheating in here. Yeah. <laughs> so ideal age of your partner. Oh, so, ideal age, if, when we say, when we say settling down, well, probably that would be on the age 28 to 30. Yeah. 28, 28 to 30. 30. Partner of settling down meaning be your husband or something. Wait, but the question is not settling down. Yes. Right? Let's put no in this age. situation, like now. <laughs> so, what's your ideal age? If you're still yes, if you want if you, if you want to have a boyfriend or girlfriend, at what ideal yeah, age? Yeah, too bad I don't have one right now. Yes, even though you don't have, I'm so sad. Yeah, I don't have a boyfriend right now. So, so. 
I want someone perhaps younger than me, like a year younger than me. Yeah, really? Yeah, a year younger than me. Probably born on January? Yeah, someone like that. How about you, Sean? So, for me, the age doesn't matter. Oh! Uh, doesn't matter. Huh, but, big word. <laughs> <laughs> but the major thing that can affect, I wouldn't want a partner to be a child. I'm not a beetle Oh. So, it would be close to my age. If I'm 18, it would be probably 19 or 17 or even 18 also. Just that the gap is not that too big. I would not date an old yeah. uh, girl or a like, very young girl. So maybe just something close to my age. So how about this event? So for me, um, I really like mature ones. Oh, <laughs> so probably it would be um, older than me. Um, it will be from the range of 20 or 21. That would be it, um, because I, I just I don't like people, cause I know. <laughs> I don't like people um, who's childish, who's immature. So probably more mature. Okay. So. It's your turn to pick. What's the question? <clears throat> oh, it's a very question. Okay. Sex or chocolates? <laughs> <laughs> so fast up. Sexy chocolate. Um, I can. <laughs> I can do both. I, I can. I can How? eat chocolate while having sex. <laughs> so I, I, I prefer chocolate. How about really? you? So I prefer. I really love my life. I, I really prefer chocolate. Why? <laughs> food. I love food. Food is life. Why would I prefer sex when it it can be very short, but chocolate can be long lasting. It could last for months mm -hmm. before the expiry date. <laughs> so I would really prefer chocolate. It's delicious. Yeah, same goes for me. Milk sure. chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> milk chocolates for it's me. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Milk. Milk no. chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I prefer milk chocolate than sex. <laughs> sex is a bad thing. Don't do that, guys. Chocolate. Yeah. Okay, question. for the next question. Sure, last so, question. I think this would be the last question. Ooh. First love or true love? So, I'm Steven, going to answer start? first. So, I'm going to choose someone that I really love. Someone that I can spend my whole life with. And someone that I can share my... Mm, deep down emotions. Sure. <laughs> so... Yes, that's it. I'm just true love. Yeah. yeah. You, Sean. So, me, I would not say I chose yeah. the, between the two because I believe mean, your first love can also be your true love. And I would prefer the true love because maybe your first love would be a cheater and it wouldn't work out. Just choose your true, true love, that person who could be always there for you. Could be yeah. there to your good and bad times. That could always listen to your deep down and hidden emotions. Who would be your inspiration in life? So you need. Her. So I would be choosing like Stephen, true love. True love is true love. First love. I have a bad experience with first love, so I would rather choose true love because true love is the type of love that will always be there for you. Love that would be with you yeah. forever, that would yeah, be true. long lasting. Yeah. True love, I mean, first love never dies, that's what they say, but first love, it could be a puppy love. And true love, that's the real love. So, so yeah. I guess that's, <laughs> that's, it. that's it. Yes, so, that's it. <laughs> again, this is that's Nina. I'm Sean! And I am Stephen Quijano. So, millennials, now signing off. Bye, Bye guys! guys.